Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how you can make your transparent header sticky on scroll with Astra Free theme without any plugin. Now, let's take a look at our final sticky header feature. First of all, I have created two versions of this sticky header. The first version is a transparent sticky header before scrolling, and after scrolling, it will automatically convert into a sticky header with a solid colored background having a shadow effect. Furthermore, it will also animate from before scroll status to after scroll status. The second version has all the features of the first version, and additionally, it has a background image with color overlay, and as well as menu item color transition from black to white. In this video I will be majorly focusing on making transparent header sticky on scroll with a background and transition animation. If you want to see the deep video on the Astra header creation and customization, then click to watch the above video card or watch the end screen video. Now, without any further ado, let's get started. First, go to the WordPress dashboard, then hover over the plugins tab, and then click on add new. Now just type simple custom CSS and JS in the plugin search field. Here you will get a small plugin with the same name by Silky Press. Just install and activate this plugin. In order to create the same type of sticky header effect as shown in the video introduction, we will be requiring a simple code block of jQuery as well as a few blocks of custom CSS. By the way, if you don't know anything about jQuery and CSS, then don't worry, you can download the required code after scanning this QR code or after directly visiting the link shown here, and then follow along with me. To add the required jQuery code, just hover over the custom CSS and JS tab, then click on the Add Custom JS option. Now here in this field, just write the relevant title of the file, then select and delete all the unnecessary comments, and then paste copied jQuery code from the downloaded file. If you are not understanding this jQuery code, then don't worry, I will be explaining it a little bit later. Once you paste the jQuery code, then click on the Publish button. Before we proceed further if you like this video, hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon to get new video updates. Now to add the custom CSS, just hover over the Appearance tab, and then click on the Customize option. Now here, just scroll down to the bottom, then click on the Additional CSS option, and then paste the copied CSS code from the downloaded file. I will not paste the whole code into a single step but I will be writing the code block one by one so that you can see the real-time effect of a particular CSS code block on your header appearance. If you can see, currently our header is not a sticky header because we have installed Astra Free Theme. A sticky header is an Astra Pro feature, hence this feature is not available in the Astra Free Theme. To create a sticky header in our Astra Free Theme, we need to write a small code snippet. Here you can see, our header converted into a sticky header. Now let's first write the code for the appearance of the header menu link. Now, this is the CSS block for the header menu link appearance before scroll. Here you can set the font size, font weight, color, and padding. This code block is for the header menu link appearance after scroll. Here you can set the font size, font weight, color, and transition time. This is the CSS code block for the header menu link hover effect. Now let's add the code for the header padding, background, and shadow effect.
This is a code block for the header padding, I would highly recommend to you that keep it zero. Now here this code block is for header appearance before scrolling, and this code block is for header appearance after scrolling. Here you will get four CSS properties that are width, padding, background color, and background size. Among four properties, you can change the padding and background color. And here you will also get pretty much similar properties. Now here make sure to keep the initial padding before scrolling more than double of header padding after scrolling, so that this header shrinking animation will take place. If you want to add a background image in your Astra site header after scrolling, then first upload a background image into your media library, then copy the link of the same image. Now go back to the additional CSS field, then paste the link over here. And if you want to add a color overlay image effect, then tweak this color code. Otherwise, delete this much code from this code block. Here, be aware that, if you don't want to add a background image in your sticky header after scrolling, then remove these lines from your code. And then change the background color values as you like. With the help of this transition property, you can change the shrinking animation time, just like this. And with the help of this property, you can set the shadow effect after scrolling. Now, we have successfully created our first version of the sticky header, let's create the second version of our sticky header. To do so, just remove these lines from your code. And then change this hex color code to black. Now here you can see, we have successfully created our second Astra sticky header version. Now let's understand the jQuery code. This is the jQuery window scroll event. This scroll event will start when the user will start to scroll the browser window. Once the scroll event will start, then this if else statement will trigger. Now here, if the browser window will scroll towards the top more than 80 pixels, then in these two CSS classes an additional class extension with the name of active will be added, and the final class name will become this and this respectively. If the browser window will come at its initial position, then this code will get executed and the additional active class extension will get removed automatically, and finally CSS class will revert back to its default name. Now why these two CSS classes are used in this jQuery code? The reason is that the same CSS classes are used by the Astra theme developer in the header HTML, and if you remember, we have also used the same classes in our custom CSS code blocks to stylize our sticky header. We have written CSS for targeting both versions of CSS classes that are with active extension, and without active extension. Once the user will scroll the browser window more than 80 pixels, then the Astra native CSS classes are modified by the jQuery event code by adding an extension with the name of active, and once the native classes are getting modified, then respective CSS code block with the same CSS class gets activated automatically. And once your header position will be scrolled at the initial position, then the additional extension from CSS classes gets removed and the respective CSS blocks get activated automatically. Now we have pretty much completed our sticky header creation, only an optional last step is remaining here. If you want to keep these CSS code blocks in a separate file, then select and cut the whole CSS code from here, then go back to the WordPress dashboard, and then click on the Add Custom CSS option. Now here in this field, just write the relevant title of the file, then select and delete all the unnecessary comments, and then paste CSS code. In the end, just publish the file. If you like this video, 
Hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon to get new video updates, and make sure to check out the end screen video. Guys, how about our video pace, is it slow or fast, or else good? Let me know in the comment down below. Thank you so much for watching, I will see you next time.